Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check. One, two, one, two. Is this thing on? Please hit the thumbs up, the subscribe button, and the notification bell right down there in the corner if you want to be notified of my live streams and my daily videos. Now, you guys, check out the Brave browser. The link is in the description. You get free basic attention token just for downloading it and installing it. Signing up for the Brave Rewards program is very simple. It takes less than five minutes. Free basic attention token, one of the most bullish coins out there all right now let's go you guys have a ton of stuff to show you um <clears throat> check it out this is gonna be a great you guys are gonna love this you're gonna love this video i'm gonna kind of go into a lot of what happened last year as far as bearable guy the riddlers stuff like that what the ripple team being bearable guy they're the ones who came up with bearable, bearable guy you guys and there's a lot of people who lash out at me um, <laughs> I mean, they lash out at me like they are really angry. They got something up their ass. And, uh, you know, hey, sorry, but I think the Ripple team came up with Bearable Guy, Bearable Guy a long time ago. All right, guys. Um, I think Brad Garlandhouse and I think Yahoo. I think I think he was at Yahoo. He used to work at Yahoo. I think he came up with this this concept of this bear. I do, you know, to kind of let people in on this you know who knows maybe that's a deep state thing you know to let people in on it to show people in plain sight what's happening um and if they don't if they want to ignore it or think it's stupid that's fine it doesn't matter they don't care they're doing what they need to do that's in their code they have to do that they have to put it in plain sight okay that's the rules right all right so check it out today one year ago today, January 30th, 2019, Bearable Guy posted this. I retweeted it today. Um, all he did was post this picture. Now, we've been kind of thinking that he has a one year delta to his riddles. Okay, so what, was that, what did that mean? What does that mean for us? Well, we might be seeing some kind of announcement today or tomorrow or possibly, be, possibly he predicted Brexit a year ahead of time, possibly. That's that's a possibility. Uh, an announcement, a big announcement, and then people behind being happy, laughing. All right? Something good. Some very good announcement. Okay? And he makes sure that we see the sure. It's a sure thing. It's a sure thing. He sees, we see the sure on the mic. It's a good brand, but sure could be have double meanings okay it's a sure thing all right now you guys uh i think there's a one-year delta because what also happened was the economic and trade agreement between the united states and china make sure this is good there we go the economic and trade agreement between the United States and China phase one trade deal was signed in Washington on January 15th, 2020. The agreement will enter into force by February 14th, 2020, which is, it also happens to be Valentine's Day. Bearable Guy predicted this a long time ago. Now, he, he showed us this on the calendar a long time ago, but he also showed us this a long time ago. So it begins. We decoders were wondering what it meant. A lot of us, especially CKJ to the lifeboats, were really digging into it, really digging into it, trying to figure out what it means. Okay, there were multiple inter interpretations. Now we kind of have a little bit of clarity on what it could mean. What it, I mean, it makes sense. He, this is the only date he actually highlights. This is the only date he's ever actually highlighted, February 14th. Now, is there a one-year delta? I believe so. Maybe this whole plan was set back a year. Maybe they didn't think Trump was going to be in office so that things had to be recalculated. Things had to be shifted around. I don't know. I don't know. But it seems to me there's a one-year delta. Okay, now... Also, what happened was this pst boom. When you when you type in P boom, the capital letters, which is often used in Gematria, when you type those in, QAnon comes out. 
Okay. Now, what happened on the 3rd of January, right after December of 2019, and we were predicting something was going to happen, and something big did happen, the World War III scare with Soleimani being blasted to pieces by Trump. All right, Soleimani was one of the key, the big key players of the deep state. Okay, in order to be Jassara compliant, there ha there has to be arrests. Now that's where Jassara comes into play. Okay, <clears throat> Jassara specifically states talks about phase one of worldwide prosperity distribution initiates. This is. Nasara, but Jasara and Nasara are basically the same thing. Nasara's national Jasara is global economic security and reformation act. Okay. Uh, we see right here initiates the first phase phase one of worldwide prosperity distribution of vast wealth, which has been accumulating for many decades. Okay. <clears throat> Restores financial privacy, eliminates the Federal Reserve. That's something Trump's been trying to do. All right. The U.S. Treasury Bank System, a new one with con constitutional law. New U.S. Treasury currency. That's something we've been seeing and, you know, following. Uh, returns constitutional law. We already saw Russia do this just a few weeks ago. All right. Abolishes the IRS. That's what the Fed now is going to be doing. All right. So maybe it won't be too long from now that this actually happens. They've been letting us in on this, but they've been giving us longer timelines than I think it's actually going to take. We'll see. Okay. Now we saw debt forgiveness and we heard about it from the Somalian prime uh, uh, minister of uh, finance. Okay. We heard about this happening in February, which also, you know, I want to show you real quick too is. Whoops. I want to show you this. Okay. So on August 15th, we had confirmation beforehand that the, the world was going to go quantum. The QFS was going to go into effect. That's Jasara Nasara. Okay. It did. We saw a big falling candle that dwarfed all the other ones. Now you can't see the other ones because this one's so big. Then three months later, three months later, on November 14th, we saw another big candle that dwarfed this one even. All right. I believe these were the test switches. They switched it on, stress testing the quantum financial system, but they, they kept it running in the background. Okay. Uh, the, They've kept this quantum financial system running in the background side by side to the old system. Now, three months later, exactly, is February 14th, the same day that the U.S.-China trade deal goes into effect. All right. It's all coming together, guys. We're tying everything together and bearable guys looking more and more legit. Now, let me tell you another thing that I think um, really makes him legit. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. Stick around. You're gonna. This is one of my best videos, guaranteed. Uh, okay, so first of all, we had the blackout. Okay, now we didn't have a blackout, but bearable guy blacked his whole picture out, highlighting a blue brick. A week later, guess what happened? This article came out. Okay, from Ripple. Do you think that's a coincidence, guys? Do you really think that's just a coincidence? Heck no. Heck no. The Ripple team is definitely behind Bearable Guy. And I don't care if you tell me that's ridiculous. That's fine. I, I've been I've heard it all, trust me. You can tell me that again if you want. I don't care. Look, it's gonna just bounce off me. I don't care. I, I'm gonna keep making videos like this because I see the trends. I see the trends. Okay, I see the patterns and I'm showing you guys. Also, what happened was Nick Bugalis, one of the head programmers at Ripple, was holding a blue brick, showing us specifically a blue brick, which Bearable Guy showed us a week ahead of time. You don't think Bearable Guy is headed by the Ripple team? This was planned out a long time ago by Brad Garlinghouse. 
Why do you think it's called Bearable Guide BG? Brad Garlinghouse, Bearable Guide BG, BG. Brad Garlinghouse, come on. It's a, it's a team effort, okay? Now, they've used CKJ a lot, okay, to help usher this out to the community. CKJ has been a lo- around a long time. Also, what happens to be CKJ is China, Korea, Japan, so it helps ripple out a lot just doing that. But um, CKJ is a good digger, and uh, the community likes him. They rippled likes him, okay? Um, there's, you know, that's, so there's a lot going on in the background. Now, there's so many coincidences, you cannot deny these coincidences. Also, Satoshi Nakamoto, this is the Ripple Riddler, then Satoshi Nakamoto comes out, and he's behind the matrix too. He, he created the Bitcoin coloring book, Wave and Ripple coloring book, okay? You have David Schwartz posting all these cryptic tweets, right? He's behind a castle, Oh, well, maybe he's behind this castle. Maybe he's the one, he's one of the ones behind Bearable Guy, right? Brad Garlinghouse, that sure seems to me like Brad Garlinghouse. Now, I think the Phoenix is XRP. I think the Ouroboros is Cardano, okay? I think, I think Bitcoin's going to stick around, but I think XRP's going to trump it. And I think USD is going to be backed by gold, But also, I think XRP is going to have to do something with gold as well. Because we see another clue from Ripple, the Ripple team. The Ripple team loves to give clues. Are they all in it? Is all of, are all the Ripple employees in on it? Probably not, no. No, but I'm sure they are given from the executives. There are certain key members who say, the executives will be like, here, uh, wear the shirt in this picture, you know. Just wear it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. You know, it's going to be a fun thing. You'll see in the future what what it really means. Or this guy is a head executive. He knows. I don't know, guys. But look, Trump does the same thing. And that's why I think Trump and Ripple are working together. At At Trump's 4th of July speech, this is huge. He, they set the camera angle, okay? He made sure the news stations set the camera angle, on the, Was- on the Lincoln Memorial at the right angle with the right lighting to where there's a gorilla, okay? There's a 400 pound gorilla, all right, in the background. Now, a 400 pound gorilla stands for a force to be reckoned with, okay? It's like the elephant in the room. Nothing can mess with it. It's too big to mess with. Trump is the force to be reckoned with, okay? That's what's happening in the background, Q, all right? Now, this was at the 4th of July uh, ripple. You know, okay, this was, and then, let's see. So what I think is this, this is February, right at the day after Brexit is this first day, the second day, the third day, one, two, three. And I could be wrong, but this is what I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then February 14th, a heart, love, I don't know, that's February 14th. That's the day of the uh, US-China trade deal. Now also we had the Ripple Riddler, clue us in on all this. We had the Ripple Riddler with his big uh, fourth, what was it, independent, um, fourth declaration of independence video, right? Where he's doing this, he's going through the quantum financial field. It was really cool. He was going through this. It was a really great video. I loved it. Um, The music was excellent. It was really well put together. And then we had Mark Carney, the Bank of England director, talking about implementing a new global reserve digital currency at the same setting as the Ripple Riddler video. You guys, it's all tied together, guys. It's all tied together, all right? I'm telling you. Now, what else? Um, right here, we have bricks. That's another reason we're highlighting and that's another reason why Ripple highlights the bricks because I guarantee you, XRP is gonna be a main component of BRICS, and BRICS is going to be a main component of Nasara, Jasara, okay, all ties together. Please give me a thumbs up, you guys. We are, as a community, digging together. You guys have helped me come to all these conclusions, put it all together, but, you know, I'm doing a lot of work here. By putting this together, it it takes a lot of work to put it all together in a video for you, all right? 
So please give me a thumbs up. Um, now also, I do believe that Bearable Guy was giving us another clue. What's the clue? QAnon. Boom. Check it out. QAnon posted this a few years ago. Okay. Uh, on June 30th of 2018. If you flip it around, it says boom, 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 boom. A week to remember, dark to light, blackout necessary, Q. And Q is the hammer, by the way. Okay. It's a gun. He, he creates a gun. Boom. Now that goes with this boom. Q also retweet. He reposted that 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 gun post just about uh, a week ago. All right. So things are happening. Things are happening swiftly, and they really are happening all at once. Another reason I think that the Ripple team is behind, especially Nick Bogalis, is behind Bearable Guy is because he posted this. Nick Begalis posted this. And then, okay, Nick Begalis posted this. It was them at a conference. It was uh, Ethan Beard and David Schwartz at a conference. But he put a black dot on their eyes, on, on their left eyes, okay? By the way, Ren and Stimpy in Gematria is David Schwartz, okay? You can't make this stuff up, guys. He put a black dot on her as he also posted this in the same post or on the same day, at least. Nico Begal is the head chief, uh, one of the technology people, uh, executives there. OK, so he posted the black dot on David Schwartz's eye. OK, and then what happened? Bearable guy opened his left eye the next day. OK, guys, open barrel guy opened his left eye the next day. The Ripple team is definitely behind bearable guy they have been letting us in on their plans the whole time the whole time and so many people have thought that this was ridiculous now maybe there was a little bit of misinformation out there to throw people off i don't know or maybe plans just got delayed okay now the quantum financial system could be what what is all this with the the Space Force, why is, why was David um, so excited about his Space Force shirt? He, he even, t you know, tweeted about it. Uh, one of his many weird tweets, right? Which, I, by the way, David, if you watch this, I know you do sometimes. Uh, <laughs> you're not weird. I love you. You're freaking awesome. So he wears the Space Force shirt. And Space Force in Dramatria is the Phoenix. But what does Space Force do? Well... They're protecting outer space for our nation, basically. What do you think's on the dark side of the moon? Why does the moon not rotate to where we can see the other side of the moon? What's going on up there? I don't know, but maybe the quantum financial system, the quantum computer hosting the quantum financial system will be placed on the moon. That's what I'm guessing. That's just my, one of my guesses, all right? I'm also guessing that they posted this on their seventh anniversary with a hint, hint, the hint hint bottles maybe they're letting us in and they're telling us yeah we've been hinting to you the whole time or maybe they're giving us a hint in this picture i don't know what the hint is um cupcake they're pointing at cupcakes hint hint or it could be this apple computer maybe they have an apple um partner partnership maybe you have a coca-cola partnership i don't know you know if you have any clues or if you have any you know ideas let me know in the comment section on that okay um they also have another apple computer with a microphone here okay now david schwartz is always posing as a pirate what are pirates all about gold me gold also he has a patch on his left eye which is the same or uh, hold on yeah i think it's his right eye I'm not sure about this one, but in his picture, his his left eye is open, just like bearable guys. Okay, his background is also gold. Okay, gold. So there are many ties to XRP and gold. All right. Now also dark to light pirate patches are worn not because their eye was poked out by a sword, but because pirates tended to go up above and below deck 
in sword fights a lot. So once your eye has to adjust to the dark from the light, it takes like 10 minutes unless you use a pirate, an eye patch and then you switch it from side because you're that one eye is already used to the dark. These pirates are used to sword fights because that's what they do. You know, they're used to that. So when it came time to go ravage a ship, go take the gold and all that, they would have the eye patch on and then they'd go on the ship. And then, uh, you know, if they had a sword fight below deck or something, they could easily take the advantage by taking the eye patch, putting it on this eye, and then their eye was already adjusted to the dark. So they would be able to see their competitor while their competitor was not able to see them because they were caught off guard. Their competitor wasn't used to wearing an eye patch. That's the use of an eye patch, dark to light, light to dark, okay? That's the, um, that's bearable guy, okay? The background, light to dark, dark to light, okay? That's another comparison to Q. Now, some people think Bob Way is bearable guy, which is all, totally um, credible as well. He was part of Ripple Team, then he came out and started talking about all this stuff you know um he, he warned us to ignore fud around the ipo all right now david schwartz also posted this and we looked at it it looks like cheddar looks like the jar uh regulation molasses he also posted there was a date and on that date on that date bitcoin dropped dramatically we were waiting for something that's when congress started urging the sec on regulations okay it all ties together, guys. <laughs> that was a specific date. Bitcoin and the other coins dropped dramatically on that date on the congressional hearings of the SEC. That was when it started. That's when it all began. That's That was in September. Gold, 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 September. It all began in September. The level playing field began in September, okay? That's when it all started. Now, we have all this happening, and one of the key components is Brexit. Now, we have national emergency. What is the national emergency? Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Okay, they, they just announced a task force. They just announced a task force today on the coronavirus. National task force for the uh, coronavirus. Okay, and that was just... Today, or actually this was last night, but it was basically today. Okay. So this could turn into a national emergency. All right. What's that going to do? It's going to crash the economy. This is the beginning of the black swan event. That bearable guy was predicting all this stuff was being predicted to us by the Riddlers. So tell me again, once more, why you think the Riddlers are non-legit. And then I will tell you, you are dumb. You are stupid. I'll slap you across the face with that word. You're stupid. <laughs> I mean, seriously, stop it. You know? Gold, gold, gold. She, Putin, Trump. It's all coming together. Then you have Kim Jong-un. You know, all this stuff. Okay? It really is all happening. I'm telling you guys, things are coming together swiftly and nicely. Then you have the owls. Okay, you had bearable guy with the Al Jolson clue, right? Then we had Elon Musk coming out with owls. We had uh, Christine Lagarde wearing her gold owl pin at Davos. Um, bearable guy opened his eyes wide, you know, eyes open. Uh, this was Elon Musk's owl clue, which looks like Ethereum to me, to be honest. That looks like uh, Musk is going to use Ethereum. I think Ethereum is going to be humongous. Also, you have David Schwartz posting these types of uh, tweets that are crazy, but they look like it looks like a quantum, you know, a financial field or something. A quantum, you know, looks like Ripple Riddler's um, video, to be honest. All right. So let's see, uh, you know, and I think also the Soleimani bombing was. It was fake. It was planned by Iran's leader president and Trump to basically ignite something, but also to uh, get rid of Soleimani because Soleimani was a key player of the deep state and he was taking too much power away from the Iranian president. So now they're pretending to, we're pretending to fight against Iran, but no, we're, they're actually part of this Jasara compliant system. 
Okay? It says right here, both Trump and Iran want U.S. forces to begin wrapping up in Iraq. Rouhani wanted Soleimani dead because he's becoming uncontrolled. Okay? There will be some more back and forth fake posturing from Iran against Trump in order to save face and create plausible deniability. But ultimately, Rouhani will come to the table. Iran will come to the table and agree to inspections and denuclearization in return for sanction relief. The president has become old and weary of this path and sees Trump as his ally against the globalists. Trust me, Putin, Xi, Trump, Rouhani, they are all against globalism. Okay? Iran realizes that their war has always been against the Rothschild banks, and Rouhani realizes that Trump is their enemy as well. So now is the time to make a deal. The deal must be done in secret, where both sides look like enemies in order to save face to the general public who hate each other's guts. This will cause the price of oil to plummet to below $30 by end of year. I don't know about $30, but it, I'm sure it will actually plummet. Okay, things are happening swiftly, guys, I'm telling you. Okay, a lot of good things for us, I think. Okay, Swift, A-I-I-B, A-2-B or whatever. Mr. Trump, Xi, Putin are ready to push the plan. Faster the plan rolls out, the better. Nobody will control the new financial system. Swift system soon to be replaced. It won't be there for long. Before 2020 or by 2020, change of structure will, be, will absolutely occur. Digital credit, trusted liquidity, will soon be injected. And that's what happened. This was given to us a year ago by Marvin Gaye. Trusted liquidity will soon be injected. The repo, right? And what's that going to go to? XRP. Beginning of the quantum financial system. Use of chips. New before 2020. By 2020. Gold-based XRP. True liquidity as real-time settlement. Dollar system is now gone. However, fiat is here to stay. Gold is back with his new friend, the standard of new economy, X. R P. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please share it. They're going to probably demonetize it. Please share it and give me a thumbs up. All right, guys, huddle strong. Be good people. Love you guys. Crypto Mike out. Peace.